All right, everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. So, uh, now that we're playing this game, it's gonna, we're going to play a lot of it. <laughs> I did a little research uh, from last time, because I, I needed to, we need to pick up some stuff. And I think we have the freedom to do that now. We're going we're gonna to figure out if we do. Um, so, we're going to get some bottles, potentially fight... A giant octopus. Um, we will eventually fight one. We might fight two. And then we'll go to our next destination. So, yeah. Let's get started. Ah! Oddly enough, uh, the place that we need to go is actually the opposite direction from where we came. So, if we can... Oop, not that. Um, Where's our map? Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Um, okay, so we need to go there, but we're gonna go back north a little bit, and then we're gonna go down to the bottom middle of the map. I have a, uh, a map up, so I know exactly where we're going <laughs> and what we need to do. Um, this is also making me, like, really want to, uh... Oh yeah, let's open these things. Uh, making me really want to collect a lot of this game, so we might get through, like, once we're done with the story, we're probably gonna... gonna play a lot of this. Um, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to go north, and then we need to go southwest. That's what I know. So let's do that first. There's the island that we actually started on and came back to the series to was... Ooh, that's actually where we need to go. It's north. All right. Uh, where are we actually on the map? I can't even view the map from here. Uh, okay, actually, this is good. We'll turn just a little bit. Because I think... Yeah, we're going to run into this thing pretty quick. I think this is it right here. Back on the ocean, man. I won't say this a ton, um, but with the time that we're, times that we're dealing with right now, with, you know, quarantine and everything, um, I got to say, there's a lot of places to explore in games, which is great. This is a great one, too, <laughs> for having to deal with all the, the mess of things right now. Actually, this might be where we need to go. Yeah, let's go over here. So, it's a great place to be able to explore and get away, get out. <laughs> all right. Okay. I don't know what's in here, um, other than the fact that I believe this is where our next glass bottle is. No, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't messing with y'all. One at a time. The rats are gonna be the most annoying thing, so I don't want to have to deal with them. Do, 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 do. There we go. Once you get the boomerang, it just allows you to do so much. Whoa! There we go. There we go. Ooh, I got him. <laughs> I was waiting for him to be like, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall, you did. Cool. Let's get all that nice monies. Woo! Yeah, there we go. Not bad. All right, nice. Yep, I was right. Okay, well, I mean, the guide was right, obviously, but, like, I stopped at the right spot. There's a possibility there could have been two of those submarines here. So, I think that's what they call them. I don't know if something made out of this much wood could actually be a submarine, but, you know, whatever. 
All right. Now, let's change the direction of the wind again. Eventually, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to need to make sure we get enough upgrades to get lots of money. All right, where... Oh, oh gosh dang it. That's not what I wanted. Uh, okay, so we are going that way, which is exactly where we need to go. Okay, cool. We got a little bit of a journey ahead of us, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. We are currently going to acquire the magic upgrade because I don't want to have to deal with the tiny little magic bar. <laughs> yeah. We'll start with this. I don't remember exactly what spot in this quadrant that we're going to. This exists. But we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so the idea is that once we get enough money, we'll... Uh, how much can I hold? Actually, that's a really good question. Is there anything that says how much I can carry? Or is that not something I can... Can I just carry a ton? Is that just a thing? Um, I'm going to do something really dumb. And... Ooh, is this the ice island? Oh, is that a fairy island? Well, the thing is, a lot of the fairy islands I can't get into yet. Um, let's go to the map again. Let me just keep this kind of nearby. Uh, okay. So it looks like the fairy island goes directly to the north, which we could hit. I was going to say, I'm going to curve to the side here just a little bit. We'll skirt around this. I'm going to do something kind of kind of dumb. Might not be the best idea in the world. I'm gonna put you on autopilot while I look up, uh, <laughs> while I look something up. Uh, okay, let's see. Do, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, see, we're fine, we're fine, it's going fine. We're just, you know, running kind of on autopilot. Let, uh, let Red take, I decided we're gonna name the boat Red. King of Red Lions is too long, his name's just Red. Red can handle it. Uh, okay. Here, we're getting close. All right. Um, let me see. What are we looking for? Ah, yes. Okay. So... Oh, okay. Actually, we can do a few things since we're in the area. Hold on. Uh, All right. I don't know exactly where this is. We need to figure that out. Uh, items, please. Let's put this on Y. Let's see, what is the zoom? There we go. Okay, so we've got lots of dudes there. We're looking for seagulls. This is going to be a lot harder since it's getting to nighttime. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's the that's the forest haven. Really? I guess we did kind of go back. That was the ice island. I might be still too far away from the actual location. It's entirely possible. Ooh, hi. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh no, that's that. Well, actually, actually, there's a possibility that it could be over there. If we can see that, that doesn't mean that we can see that entire island. That might mean that's where the location of this thing is at. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so apparently there is... I'm looking up where the wallets are. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. We can't even do that yet. Um, we'll do this first. Okay, here we go. We can take all this stuff out now because it's super easy with the boomerang. Let's do it. 
And I've already fought one of these guys, so there's going to be no load time for shaders, which is great. This is a simple one, too. We do have to hit him a lot more. That is a thing, though. And I can target his eyeball on the other side of his body, which is great. <laughs> there, 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 and there. I remember first playing this game, and running into these guys was the most terrifying thing originally, because I was like, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing! There we go. All out. It's kind of cool. I like the, the, the eyes glow. Let you know when they're done. I think in the original, they, like, let off smoke or something. I don't... could be wrong. Hey! This is our first fairy! <laughs> Oddly enough, not in a fairy fountain. Hello, Awaker of the Winds. Thanks to you, I have been freed from that beast's, beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. They're pretty cool. I think it's a gr cool design for a fairy. Like a great fairy. Woo! <laughs> Your magic has been twice as much. Yes, look how much magic we have. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, yeah, we can we can take care. Oh, uh, actually, no, I don't know if I can do that yet. I need to have that, so I can't quite. I can do it soon, just not yet though. Okay, it looks like I can hold 500 rupees currently. Um. Well, I mean, you know, we might as well. Uh... Okay, actually, this one's probably Southern Fairy Island. I don't think I can actually get into that one yet. So let's change the wind and go to the... Do, 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 do. Let's go to our destination next. Northwest. Okay. There we go. I usually get really worried when the weather looks like this because sometimes it means there's a tornado nearby, which that's that's always a bad thing. So apparently that island there is for the um the bomb upgrade, but you have to have bombs in order to do that. We actually might get to that point uh, during this video. We shall see. Because, yeah, we need to go to Outset. Back to Outset soon. Which will happen shortly, actually. Oh, shoot! I'm not equipped for that. I have a boomerang, but it ain't that good. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Wait, you stay on the other side of the island. Is this the... Oh, I can't even do half the stuff here yet, so there's no point in me trying to get this to work. Oh, that's... It's, uh, it's... Here's your big... <laughs> Jeez. I am not equipped for this yet. Even if I had bombs, I couldn't do this. I need a, a bow to do it. Am I going the right way? Okay, it's a little farther to the... It's a little more of this direction. We can still... Uh, we can, yeah, we, we can still get pretty much full sail, which is good. Okay, cool. Oof, yeah. We'll need to ta fight that thing once we get the bow. The bombs don't have enough reach. And it'll be a nice upgrade when we get to fight him. Is this the Iron Island? Iron Fortress? That's gonna be fun. Oh, we get to have some music now. And the seagulls! Oh yeah, there's our, there's what we're looking for right there. So I originally, way back when I started playing this, I had originally thought that I would just cut out the transport time between the islands, but this is like 
one of the best parts about the game. I know there are people that don't like this aspect of the game. Um, which I don't understand why. Like, it's part of it. It's the same way with Skyward Sword. There's a lot of flying in aspects of that. Um, which I think is fine. Uh, it's within the theme and realm of the game. You know, Breath of the Wild, even. There's a lot of transportation that you gotta do. Even when you start unlocking warp areas, there's still a lot of running around you gotta do. So, yeah, this is the Iron Fortress. Fortress of Iron, or Isle of Iron or something. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Um... So, we're going to leave these little bits in. Don't know if I'll always have something super entertaining to talk about, but you never know. <laughs> You're farther away from that than I was expecting. Yeah, the weather's going to change real quick. I think it'll cut into a kind of a cutscene here in a second, if I remember correctly. Yes, because we meet what's his face. Alright, yeah, here we go. I am gonna have to All right. uh, look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Isle. Doesn't look very happy, does it? What is the meaning of this? The island. It is... We're too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Hoi there, Link. Hey, guess what? It's our bird, friends. What's up, dude? I always thought that was an interesting camera angle. <laughs> What's up? So you're here. I've been looking for you. Uh, are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I am. I'm sorry to report that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at this... Uh, let's see. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. It's true. But fear not, Jaboon uh, was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safe abode now. Uh, would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, in Outset. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. Uh, the cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without as much as a thought for the consequences. That probably wasn't the smartest thing. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall. Uh, what an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else, boats... Uh, boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Uh, Valo, Valo, Valo must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. Let's see, I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But this is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. All right, dude. See ya. Thanks for the visit. <laughs> okay, so. So Jaboon survived. The sea spirit has lived through the, tr uh, the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, or Rito, I'm going to say Rito. Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the caves where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? Sounds good. Um, before we do that, there is a few things I think we can do. I don't remember if you can actually pull it off here. No, 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 you can. I don't think you need... Uh, for a second, I was like, do you need the grappling hook for this? No, but we do need to... Um... Let me get over here. There's, a, there's one collectible, I believe, on this island that we can get. But I think we have to get it from here. 
Yeah, this is where it's at. Okay. Well, this is where the start of it is. So, since we're here, and we probably aren't going to come back here until we get a treasure chart. I think there's a Triforce shard here as well. Oh, yeah, there's also a tree seed here. The Korax planted a thing, and you have to bring the spirit uh, stuff to them. Okay. So, I think... I can pull this off from here. I think. Um, Alright, let's try it. Wow, it was already pointing the right direction. I, I didn't even... Alright, fair enough. Uh, okay, let's try it. There's an item here, and we have so much magic, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> Woof! Yeah! Spiky gold chest. <laughs> Piece of heart. Sweet! Now I gotta swim all the way back. Red, wait! Come here! I will drown if I don't get there. I will say that meter for this is very terrifying because Link starts to swim faster. <laughs> it's like, okay, go, go. Ugh, I don't like that either. Okay. Uh, we need to go to Windfall, which means we got a heck of a trip ahead of us. Uh, well, not too bad. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go exactly to the northeast. I love that they changed that for this one. Ooh, there's a fairy island right there. Should we go check it out? Maybe we can get on it. We're going to be going right by it, so might as well. Is that a fairy island? Oh yeah, this is a thing too. The uh, the world continually rains and is dark. Which is strange. Oh no, that's not... A oh no. It's Tingle. Tingle Island. But that is technically correct. Yeah, that's... Uh, and... Hold on. Gosh dang it. Can I... Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's the intermediary spot between these. It's in this quadrant. See, that's a good point. Do they don't... They're not labeled, are they? Not on here. No. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let that go on autopilot. Let's do a little searching for fairy islands. Let's see. Oh, good. Oh, that's right. There's always a tornado thing around there. Are you going to do your thing? Or are you going to be mad at me? Yeah, so you can avoid having these guys attack you if you um, don't change course at all. Oh, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> We're probably going to hit this one. Autopilot's only going so far. He won't go away either. He'll be with us the entire time. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Uh, I guess this is all we can do here, which is interesting. Huh. Well, I guess we can't do that stuff yet. Just keep that up. Okay. So yeah, we passed Tingle Island, which I think that's what that was. Uh, there is a few things we need to do here while we're in fall. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all of them. Oops, sorry. We're going to try to get another bottle uh, among the other story-related things that are here. There we go. <laughs> There's a giant ship. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. I forgot he was there because he was behind the sail. <laughs> You're still chasing me, dude. Can you back off? I could attack him, but I have to put the sail down, and that's no fun. Let's 
Alright. And slow- Oh! Well, okay. Uh, we're coming from the other side. It's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. Yeah, except for the giant mast of the ship. It's not a very big island. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabu's sacred gem, I doubt they will tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. I will. We'll do that first, and then we'll, um... We'll go try to figure out... Let's go, let's go figure out what's in the mailbox. Let's do that first. Good evening! Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return to me. Or Orca. That's the dude... Thanks for the money, man. That's the dude back on Outset who taught us how to do swordplay at the beginning of the game. You can get some... You can get a ridiculously overpowered setup there. Or an upgrade there. Uh, let's see. Man, yeah, there's... There were uh, some issues with the textures when I first played this. And it's nice to see that the upgraded version of Semu, they're all fixed! <laughs> so, yay! Peek around the corner. Whoop! Yep. Okay. Oh, go! Okay. Right. And up we go. So, if you remember, this is the dude that sells bombs. I don't even know if we actually went and talked to him. But, if you try to go to the front, the doors are locked. Because the pirates are robbing him blind. <laughs> Look, don't be mad at us. It's not your fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? That's true. When you originally, if you come in here before this and talk to this guy, he's charging like a stupid amount for bombs. You can't even afford it. So I bet you're thinking it was fo uh, foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Oh? Huh? Oh, uh, oh yeah, that was... That, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back on outset. Yeah? I was like... How was I supposed to know? <laughs> so when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, that, uh, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. It's like, <laughs> you idiot, keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't be so stupid. Miss Tretra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? I love how she's just like, oh god. Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back on the ship. The second we're done loading them, we're, set we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were sh on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good, uh, some good eating. Yeah? How about we grab a cup grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead. I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss. Uh, is what I mean to say. <laughs> it's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what's... Uh, what say we sell to tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? The treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of who's who's for a night of fun? They don't say anything. <laughs> They're not captain. <laughs> You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw the demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry to outset, or the same thing could happen there. 
Hmm? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried about that island more than more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. <laughs> the dull, good old Tetra Wink. All right, fine. Have it your way. We can leave tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? <laughs> Very excited, obviously. <laughs> They sped that up, too. That that walking sequence was a lot slower in the original. Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Oh, yeah, that's right. I wonder what this one's going to be. Uh, Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. <laughs> today's password is Barnacle. Yeah, remember? You know, that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's pass password is Barnacle. Barnacle, eh? So I don't know how randomly generated that word is or if they have a bank of words to pick from. It's different. It changes every time I played it. I don't remember it ever being the same. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I can't help you. So I'm glad we get to see the pirates again because Tetra is a really good, a cool character. Um, it's funny. I had the, the her wink. That was my notification sound on my phone for a while. It's a good one. I'd recommend it if you're needing to look for a new sound. I've used them. Most of my notification sounds are from Zelda games, if you haven't noticed, of the few times I've talked about it. Um, I don't think I can do this. This has to be daytime, and I have to come back and do it later, but we can also get another song for the Wind Waker. Just not right now. Uh, let's try and... Can we... Is, is the girl out tonight? Or is this, like, the event's not going to light up? Probably not. Mm. Yeah, the rain is going to make this a little difficult to do. So I don't think we're going to be able to make it happen. I'll do... Uh, let me check one more area. Shoot. I was really hoping we could do that. Yeah, she's not here. I think she's normally hiding, like, up in this area up here. Or down here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll have to come back during nighttime. Um, actually, well, the next time we come back here, I can learn how to change it from night to day. So, let's, uh, let's just continue. I don't think there's really anything else we can do here currently. Alright, the ship's... Uh, the ship's only tooth is a... What? Why would... Why would that- wait, do you want me to use my keyboard? Oh, that's cool integration. Alright. I'm down for that. <laughs> right, right, you may enter. Alright, fair enough. Cool. Yeah, there really isn't anything else you can do here, it uh, looks like. So, I thought maybe we could get the bottle, but the character that we need to talk to is not here. Ooh, this is fun! So... We couldn't get in here last time we were on the ship, and this is Tetra's space. But you can see all the, um, the, like, art and stuff that's referencing the Triforce and all that. So I, I'm curious if she actually knows what's kind of going on, or if this is just... Because she makes a referencing point that, like, she's had some of this stuff for a long time. I've always wondered if that was, like, her mother, maybe? I don't know. I don't know uh, a lot of why she has this stuff. Um, or like a lot of the backstory with Tetra. It would be really interesting to know. That would be so cool if we could get some more info on that. Obviously, this game's old, so it's not like it's ever gonna happen. Hey, what's up, dude? It's been a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Link. Oh, Link. My old swabby Link. So, you're alive. I am. All the other pirates said you got done uh, in by the big monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind that, though. Or never mind what I thought. You're alive. Now, oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in the town having fun, eating and stuff. 
But I guess being all being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. <laughs> all right, uh, why don't we set you up to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. Uh, you can see the lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. <sighs> Which means you have to jump from rope, from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hi. <laughs> and that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. All right. Oh, this one is arguably a lot more difficult. The switch that opens the gate is in the same position, place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to the side before the time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Okay, well, this is... <sighs> Here we go. That does not bode well. <laughs> ah, all right, reset. So if if this takes me more than like two tries, you'll see the cut for when I just get there because this is very, very frustrating. I have strategies for doing it, but it doesn't mean that it's 100% foolproof. Huh? Ooh, that was close. Okay. Oh, these don't move after you grab onto them. Oh, gosh dang it. I forgot about that. Hallyu! Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Gosh dang it. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Line it up. Line it up. One more big swing. Come on. We got this. We got this. Ooh. Line it up. Okay. Oh! I shouldn't have gotten that, but it gave it to me. I'll take it. I won't complain. Come on. Come on. They really changed the uh, second time's the charm. Whew. What? You gotta be... You already did it? Or you did it already? Wow, you're incredible. Thank, thank you. Let's ignore the fact that I totally missed the first jump. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? Shoot! <laughs> And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. <laughs> Look, dude. Isn't it named Nico? This is your own fault, man. Uh, okay. You're the best Swabby of all time, so I guess I'll give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? <laughs> So, they changed this challenge a lot. Um, I recently... When this initially broke, I was originally going to try to... Play through the game in the GameCube version. Uh, and get to the same point. Kind of, you know, it was taking too long and I didn't have the time at the time. But, I got to this point again. And the GameCube version of this, the original, is so... Much harder. Because there's not this nice arc. You can't swing. Like, the, the when you let go of the rope, the trajectory at which you fall is very different than here. They changed it a lot, so there's a lot more, like, uh, I guess physics to Link when he lets go and what the angle is, so you don't just, like, drop. There's a lot of times you want to get a full swing and let go and then fall. Um, but they didn't They didn't have that. It wasn't set up like that as well in the original, so... Okay, well, we've got bombs. We can now have... We can now use the cannon. That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. You're pirates, calm down. Uh, I suppose I... I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. 
Um, from the look on your face, I have to guess you have you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? Uh, you don't give things much thought, do you? You just rushed in and never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. I'm sorry, Nico. You're cool, bro. <laughs> uh, no one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Javu uh, Javun's treasure too. Right now, Javun is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and near a fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we're leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right uh, by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all our bombs. The ship's big enough. Makes sense. Uh, you better be quick, kid. See you, Nico. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Eh. Don't roll up the stairs, because we know what that happens. It's so tempting. Okay, cool. We've got the bombs. We are ready to go. We can do a few things, actually. Where are we at again? Um, via the map. So if we go directly south, we will hit two fairy islands. Potentially giving us two things. I don't know what's at the North Ferry Island. Uh, actually, I can figure out real quick. Hold on. I'd rather figure this out now than later. Might as well. Um, let's see. Do 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 do. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, this will work. This will work. Okay, cool, perfect. Let's let's do that. So there's yeah, we can get two things here. Well, we will, <laughs> but not in this part. Red, hold on, I'll be there in a second. I gotta talk to the other red thing. <laughs> Good evening again. Letters for Link. We have one. Here's your letter. Blech. Uh, notice from Beetle's Shop Ship. It's time for a semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs! We have, <laughs> we're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You can, you'll know where to find us by using the, checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Is it the Beetle Shop near you? Alright. Don't miss this huge opportunity. <laughs> yeah. That will give us access to another thing later as well. We do not have enough money for that. Um, okay. Hey, dude. Oh, God! Yep. All right, cool. Let us delay no longer, Link. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, well, that's gonna end that part here. So, we've already been playing for a bit, and we've got some more things to do. We'll pick those up next time. We're going to be hitting a few fairy islands, get a few upgrades on the way back to Outset. We'll take care of that. We'll get an upgrade on Outset. Should we get the upgrade before? I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, well, either way. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm looking forward to playing more. I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more, because we're back in Zelda. Playing Zelda games are great. Wind Waker's amazing, and it's going to be a very long game, so there we will have lots of parts of this coming out over time. Uh, and we're going to be collecting a lot of stuff. So, anyway, thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.